Pops. You've got Coco Pops. Yuck. Are they nice? Yucky. They're yucky. They're not yucky. They're bassy. Pardon? A bassy. Oh. A bassy. Pasty? Huh? Eh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Gaspar was a good boy last night. He didn't know we was in his nappy. Were you a good boy? You didn't wee in your nappy. Did you wee on the toilet last night? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Don't, you don't need your nappy on at bedtime soon. Will you? What is a book? What is it? A book. Ah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's a very big spoon. Big, big one. That is a very, that's not going all in there, is it? Your mouth is not that big. A big one. It's a very big one. Oh, that's a good mess, isn't it? <laughs> I left Casper while I went to go and get dressed. And what have you done? Milk. You put more milk on your breakfast. The milk is right at the top. And you would spill it all over the table, hadn't you? <laughs> Is that a good boy? <laughs> are you laughing? Yeah. Is it a little bit naughty? No. Did you say sorry to mummy, didn't you? You said sorry, mummy. You've got a lot of food to eat there now. You eat it up? Mix it. You're mixing it. Morning, Freddy. Oh, yes. He's just having his breakfast. He's been up for a couple of hours. His machine, his CPAP machine was so beepy last night. Me and Andy were constantly in and out of bed. What was happening last night, Freddie? To your machine? It was beeping away, wasn't it? Are you see even a little bit of a better mood today, which is nice. You have a fun day. Oh, it's Casper again. What are you doing? That's so bad. Oh, you got it on the iPad. Good morning. So it's like half seven now. Um, I didn't have the best night with the boys. Freddie was just beeping all night again. Um, and then I think he was awake for about four o'clock. Um, and Casper woke up in the middle of the night screaming because he had lost his dollies. Um, so yeah, I'm really tired. I'm actually really grumpy this morning. I really haven't got any patience. So I've escaped to the living room to get away from them for five minutes. Hiding, and he's still in bed because it's his turn to have a lie in, which is probably making me even more grumpy because I want to be in bed. But I'm going to make a cup of tea, um, and chill out for another half an hour, and then get get dressed. And I think we're just going to head on out this morning, go for a walk. I think in the woods, let the kids let off some steam. Hopefully, Freddie's normally quite good if you take him for a walk. He quite likes us having a little walk, so. Um, that should hopefully keep him quiet this morning because he's in another grump again. He's not happy. So we can do that. And then I might, seeing as it's Sunday, cook a roast for everybody. If I can be bothered to go to the shop. We'll see. Morning, Evie. Morning. What are you up to? Um, I'm an apple. I'm an apple. To make um, hot apple. I'm making some hot apples. That's quite a healthy breakfast. What else did you have for breakfast? I had blueberries, raspberries, and peach yogurt. Mm, that's good. Yummy. So I'm up and dressed out, and I'm not feeling as grumpy. I've got a bit of makeup on. Got my favourite jumper on. Ready to be me. Excuse that. Oh, where is it? Mm. Oh, that <laughs> that little bit of swab up. I think that's probably off threading. Mm. It's like it, this is um, a child ride jumper. It's probably why I like it and I like the words on it. And it's so baggy and so comfy. This is my favourite jumper at the minute. Um, I'm just about to cook dinner. I was going to do um, Sunday lunch, but I really can't be bothered to go to the shop to buy the stuff. I'm just going to make pasta sauce. Um, I'm such a lazy cook. I buy chopped onions, frozen, and I buy chopped garlic. God, I absolutely hate cutting. <laughs> I just don't cut anything, so I could buy it already cut, then I will. I used to buy frozen garlic, mm -hmm. but 
but they don't do it anymore. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to uh, try this one, of course. I'm going to try this. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just going to have um, pasta and meatballs for lunch. <laughs> and then I'll just do sandwiches for tea so I can, on, on Sundays. I can never be bothered in the evenings to cook a big meal, so I think I'm going to swap the meals over today. Um, and I've got such a bad issue at doing it with my fridge. It actually smells of poo, which is really embarrassing because every time someone comes around and they open my fridge, all you get is just this massive um, whiff of poo. I don't know what it is. Something must be rotten in there. But I've took everything out and um, thrown anything away that's open. I've, I've cleaned all the shelves, I've soaked the shelves in bleach, I've cleaned the inside of the freezer, the fridge, sorry, in bleach. But it still stinks, and every time we open it, I always go, oh, I think Freddie's had a poo. So we'll go to change it, and it's not Freddie, you forget that it's, um, it's, the, free, it's the fridge. But I don't know what it is, I don't know what else could be causing it. There's like, there's, like, there's a tiny little hole in the fridge, I don't know if it's like um, a draining hole. <laughs> And there's like a, a little tag sticking out of it. I don't know if it's got something to do with that. I've tipped bleach down it. I don't know if I was supposed to. But I couldn't cope with the smell anymore. And it did get rid of it for a few days, but it's back again. I don't really know what to do. The pasta sauce to me is really simple. I don't buy um, jar of sauces because you never know what's in them, do you? They always say that they're full of sugar. Um, so I like to make them from scratch and put vegetables and that in them so the kids get something healthy. So this one's really simple. It's just got um, onions, garlic, mushrooms, tin of tomatoes, a little bit of veg stock, and some parsley and oregano. And this is literally just bungle that in. And I always blend mine up because otherwise pasta and easy probably would just pick out all the mushrooms. So if I blend it. They don't know it's there, and we'll have it with um, some meatballs. I always buy vegetarian meatballs, not because I'm, I'm not really a vegetarian. In fact, I'm not a vegetarian at all. But I do like um, like corn products. I, I eat a lot of them. I couldn't be. I tried to be vegetarian. I just couldn't do it. I just I love I love bacon, and I tried to use uh, vegetarian bacon. Instead, and it's just not the same. There's, just, there's no replacement for um, and Christmas. Christmas just want to be the same without a turkey. So that is why I come to vegetarian. Because I like bacon too much. Just been so busy getting the pasta sauce made that I totally forgot to cook any pasta. So my pasta sauce is ready, my meatballs are ready, but there's no pasta cooked. Which is quite annoying. Dinner's ready! Evie! Hi! Evie, Evie, dinner time! Dinner time! Please. You've got pasta and meatballs. Can you eat that up, Daddy's gonna put some cheese on it for you. You want some Daddy cheese? did it! You want to do it? Is that nice? Mm. Yeah? <laughs> I'm blowing on it. Yeah. What's the matter? Yeah. <laughs> Freddie seems really uncomfortable again, so I'm just going to um, vent his tummy to see if I can get some air out of him because he's really struggling with something. <laughs> There's quite a few different ways to vent a tube. I think the, the one we've been shown is to just. Uh, Open up his tube, um, just with a big syringe on, and just leave it from there. Oh yeah, he's got some air in there. <laughs> it like makes little burpy noises. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, it's spitting everywhere. I don't know if you heard that noise, but it like makes really like it, it. It all like shoots all the air kind of shooting out. Is that better. Little See, the older he gets, the more and more problems we seem to be having with his tummy. <laughs> Which is a little bit worrying. He seems to be in quite a lot of pain with it lately. So I think we need to mention that to somebody and see what we can do to try and help it. Sorry, I had to turn the video off then because Freddie got really upset. He was in quite a lot of pain. I managed to get quite a lot of air out of his um, tummy and he did a really big poo as well. So I think his tummy is really sore. Hello everybody. You've still got a wave, haven't you? 
think we're just going to have some cuddles now. I don't know whether to go out or not. It <laughs> might cheer him up to get out and about, but I don't want to take him out if he's hurting. We'll see. We'll see what we do. <laughs> I'm just fencing him again because he seems to be in quite a lot of pain still. I've got a couple more burpees of air come out, haven't we? <laughs> Dear. So I've managed to get Freddy to sleep on his seat path. I gave him a cuddle and eventually, after hitting and kicking me quite a lot, I've managed to get him to sleep. Um, he's had some cow poo, so hopefully whatever's bugging him in his tummy will calm down a bit, but it just seems to become a lot more frequent now. Um, that his tummy seems to be giving him a lot of pain. I think it's something we need to speak to, to one of it, speak about to one of his doctors and see what we can do going forward because he, he was quite constipated then and also there was so much air in his tummy maybe we need to be vented him more often but for now he's um he's having a snooze hopefully he'll wake up and he'll feel a little bit better Freddie's been fast asleep for just over an hour now I don't really know how long to give him I'm a little bit worried I'm going to wake him up and he's going to be in a grump again so I think I'll give him at least another hour I'll sit down and he's just been in the shop and brought me a cream egg so I'm going to have a little cream egg and a cup of tea and see if he wakes up in the next hour I managed to get my eye on while he's been asleep though which is a bonus I don't think I'll get that done for him but he's been quite settled thankfully Freddy's awake now he looks a little bit happier hello that's better we don't like it when you're sad. You had a nice sleep. Hello. Oh. Is your brother being noisy? I think Casper actually woke you up, didn't he? He's, he's being very noisy. Should we go and have some fun now then? It looks too windy to go out, so I think we'll stay in. Uh, but we can get some toys out. Just brought the kiddies outside for a little bit have a little bit of a jump on the trampoline. It is very cold, but they're actually all quiet and all happy, which is all right because Freddie's been screaming again for the past hour, trying to give him some lunch or some tea, but he didn't want it, he just shouted at me. So hopefully, a bit of fresh air, we'll just tie him out here at time. So we've just come in from outside because it was so cold, we've put our pyjamas on and we're snuggled under our blankets, aren't we Casper? And we're going to watch Alice through the looking glass with a nice cake. Freddie's in here as well. Hi Freddie! He enjoyed playing outside so he's in quite a good mood now. And we're all snuggy. You went outside too. You came back home, didn't you? You were cold. Have you got your teddy ready for the film? Evie, You've got Evie's teddy. Oh, yeah. give it a big squeeze. <laughs> Say bye. We're going bye. now. We're going to have a fun day tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Tomorrow. We are going to the zoo tomorrow. Who goes to the animals tomorrow? Yay! Yay! Bye, Freddy. Are you going to wave bye? Bye. Bye. By the way, before I go, we sold the mystery of the poo smell in the fridge. It turns out there was some camembert in there and it absolutely stuck. I don't know why I didn't think it was always soon. But as soon as we took it out of the fridge to have for tea, we realised it was that. So the fridge smells nice again. Thank God.